Time now for your forewarn weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, a big hurricane on the way and a lot of other things to take note of weather-wise as well. Yeah, but back here at home, pretty calm conditions, Alana. Closer to home for the Wasatch Front, we have calm conditions, but check this out. I have to show you, this is a live view of the rainbow. It is raining in Cedar City. This is happening right now. Temperatures at 61 degrees, cooling down with this wet weather over Iron County, but I can't get enough because you see the sun on that red. That looks like a postcard, so I had to share it with you on this Tuesday. I hope it brightens your day as it brightened mine. Let's look at where that wet weather is. Storm Tracker Radar shows that line of storms moving from west to east over I-15, not just for Cedar City, but could be cold enough at the top of Bryan Head to pick up a few flakes. We definitely know it's soggy. Over the higher terrain, we've got those clouds and we've got the moisture definitely coming through. Towards the I-15 and I-70 corridor near Richfield, soggy conditions there, and we've got some fresh lightning popping up on the map. As we step back, southeastern Utah starting to quiet down at this hour. Central Utah, though, bubbling up. There's that wet weather coming through the west desert. Places like Eureka and Vernon showing those echoes of moisture. You can see some lightning now embedded there. It's the southern end of Utah Lake and the Wasatch back north of Provo over towards Heber. Quiet still from Logan all the way down to Provo, but we know the slight chance of a storm could pop up in the next several hours for the Wasatch Front. Isolated activity expected, and that's going to be the case into tomorrow. Okay, this moisture is great because we have to talk about the water year. I'm going to get out of the way here, and you see that new record coming through in St. George. Now, the water year runs from October 1st until the end of September, so this is the 2022-2023 water year, and we've already secured the record in St. George, picking up almost six inches more than what they typically see above average in places like Moab. Look at Cedar City, really healthy numbers there. And then you look towards Salt Lake, our average water year is just 15.8 inches already above that at 17.7. And we still have a decent amount of September left. Now, this is the number one spot for the water year in St. George. We're cracking the top 25 in Salt Lake, but we, of course, will keep you posted as we get through the rest of September because that could go up. Water vapor showing that water moisture potential blossoming in the southwestern corner of the state. You can see now that cloud covers out there. This is what it looked like this morning, though, in Park City. Hello, hints of fall. Chris Williams sharing that one with us. I know, leaf peepers getting excited, right? You want to see the change of colors? Some of us like the warmth, no matter what. We're still a little too early. As we look at the fall foliage map, we're warning you that this week it is still low color over our mountains. High country we will see the leaves turning first, but we typically watch that happen in late September. So I'll keep you in the know in case you're looking to get out there. Take your fall photos, maybe your Christmas card. 80s for the temperatures right now. We've jumped to 86 in Salt Lake. That's above the average of 83. We've got 80s on the eastern side of the state, but you can tell where it's raining just by looking at the temperature map. That includes Blanding, Cedar City, and then towards Price, so Lake Powell also sitting in the upper 60s. In the north, though, dry, which is why we have the warmth. We'll see those 80s turning into 70s over the next several hours. It's a little breezy out there, partly cloudy. And again, you can't rule out the slight chance of a storm for the Wasatch Front tonight, so a shower could move on through, maybe some gusty winds. Storm threat for tomorrow, entire state again, so similar to what we saw. And this is all linked to a low-pressure system that's going to approach and move through northern Utah. Future cast shows the storms on the move, moving from west to east or west Westerly flow helping with that by 8 p.m. Still very active in southwestern Utah. Central Utah also has a little bit of activity, but most of this holds on and clears out for the overnight. Eastern Utah has just some spotty activities. We get through Wednesday. Looks like the best chance for us to see wet weather. Some spotty showers pop up by 11 a.m. in northern Utah, and then we watch over the mountains, especially as those storms develop and roll into adjacent valleys. The chance for Salt Lake to have it, you notice that on the map there by the afternoon, Tooele County and into Salt Lake County, also another round for the southern half of the state for our Wednesday evening. That's why flash flood potential remains increased. It's probable at Arches, Canyonlands, and Cap Reef. How about those numbers? Already in the mid 80s. It's really pretty in Salt Lake City. We're going to be low 80s tomorrow with a little more cloud cover and the chance of storms out there. We definitely know that the seven day here in St. George starts to dry out. So a little bit of a break with the numbers getting back to the low 90s. High pressure takes control over the weekend. And you know what I say about high pressure? Hi. Yeah, it's going to definitely warm us up. Those numbers climb a little bit. We see that in the north as well, but unsettled for the next couple of days of the work week. So not too bad. Not 
shocked too, but I'm just so shocked about how cool it's been, especially compared to last year. Cool as in like I dig this or cool as in like <laughs> um, temperature both. wise. <laughs> both. Like August did come in on the cooler side, but looking at those water numbers to see mm -hmm. that so healthy, Woo. what a great, great sign as we close out the water year. We'll take it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Alana. We appreciate that. <laughs>